What's going on guys? Today is going to be a quick little video for the Air 2S and basically DJI just updated their fly app. It's 1.4.2 now. So I want to walk you through a few of those settings. I'm going to show you right now. It basically said adds connection guide for DJI FPV to check how to connect the DJI FPV combo. I do not have an FPV drone at the moment and it adds color display assist when using D-Log to check color effects directly in camera view. So that's available with the Air 2S. So that does interest me, intrigue me, but whoop, this little guy is gonna go over here. And it also says fix certain issues and optimizes overall app stability or quality. So update it and you'll see what we're gonna get. Most likely, I don't know, this is the first time flying with the update. I'm sure it's gonna be similar to the Mavic 2 Pro where you can actually hit a little button to get a preview, a little bit more of a color preview of your D-Log space. And that really does help out because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm shooting in D-Log or Log, I just have a harder time gauging what I'm really shooting and capturing. I don't know, maybe just because of the lack of color, but it's just something that I don't really enjoy viewing visually. I feel like I'm better composing my shots when I have a little bit more accurate color preview. So let's go ahead and get this guy up in the air and we'll see what it is all about. So. so I haven't even flown the Air 2S that often yet. So cool little drone. I got rid of my Mavic Air 2 and I got this guy and we got the controller which actually is a really nice little controller. I'll go ahead and power this guy on. We got the props on, all is good. Gimbal will calibrate and level out. And we'll go ahead and get the iPhone into the remote and then we're gonna see just what that actual new update does for the Air 2S. So get this guy in, plug in the lightning, power on the remote, boom, close out all our apps. So force quit the app. So we have a nice clean iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're gonna see right now, GPS signal weak, no problem. It's gonna take a second for it to get a better connection, lower the volume, raise the brightness a little bit. And I find if you keep the brightness a little bit lower on hotter days, it won't be so prone to dimming out on you and having display issues. And if you guys know, I'm sure you do, when the iPhone or display dims out on you, it really makes it hard to fly. So I'm gonna agree to assume full liability for flying in this area. I do have my 107 and I did get it with Greg at Pilot Institute. Best thing I ever did in 2020, literally was such a cool thing to achieve, even though it's not that hard, but at the same time, it was something I was putting off. So to get your 107 will open up a lot of doors for you at flying your drones, even if you don't wanna make money, and that's not your goal. If you have the ability to shoot a job, for example, and make a few dollars, why not? Just kinda of test the waters, but that's enough on that. Confirm. So right now we got full satellites. If you see up on top, we got 13 satellites. That's a good enough signal. And that's something you always wanna kinda of keep an eye on is good satellite signal and also your remote control signal. That's a strong signal and that's another thing that we wanna make sure is rock solid because that will cause your drone, if it's not strong, to go into addy mode and then a lot of people will get caught off guard and have issues with basically getting their drone back. So anyway, let's go ahead and launch this guy. Okay, so we have a really beautiful scene right now. And as you see, we have our camera controls and it's set to normal. So we don't have it set to D-Log yet. I'm gonna raise altitude a little bit. I know I'm not in any harm's way. And maybe, let's go up about 100 feet. And we could kind of throw it in the tripod mode to slow things down for the sake of the tutorial. And we'll go ahead and get into D-Log. Now we have D-Log on. So here we go. This color display assist was already toggled on. And if you see, I'm going to click out of the screen. That's essentially 
where I'm at. It's a little overexposed. I'm going to go ahead and dial it down a bit. I need filters on this guy. I don't have it for the sake of the tutorial, but regardless, disregard that. So I'm going to go in the top upper right hand corner, these three little dots that will get me into my camera section. And as you see, if I turn off color display assist, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm seeing this more washed out type footage and scene. And if I go ahead and add the color display assist, which is new on 1.4.2, I'm going to get a little better colored preview. Now, if I go ahead and click normal, it will be even that much more colorful because, let me see, because it's actually processing the video a bit and adding color and doing a little magic to it in camera in the processor. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot D-Log now and keep the color display assist. I kind of wish it was a little bit more vibrant. I feel like it is with the Mavic 2 Pro, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? So let me turn around, see where I'm flying. I'm going to fly over this guy a little bit. There's all kinds of wires and stuff over here, so you got to be really mindful. We're by an airport, but I'm pretty low. I believe I am at, where did I, am I? 100 feet, so nothing major. And this is basically what we're seeing for our footage. So just a quick little recap. We're going to go in the upper right hand corner, hit these three little dots, go to... So just a quick little recap. We're going to hit the little three dots in the top upper right hand corner, click those. We're in D-Log. We're going to make sure we have this color display assist on. If we have it off, it's going to be more washed out like the traditional log kind of setting. And if we go ahead and click again, and turn that on, it will be a little bit more how we would probably want to see the scene. And again, if you do click normal, it is going to be that much more vibrant because it's applying some processing in camera. So we're going to turn the auto off. Auto is really not a good thing to shoot. And that's basically it. So you guys are aware, I don't have the FPV side of things, but if we get out of the app, we can see what it says. It says right now, adds connection guide for DJI FPV to check how to connect the DJI FPV combo. So probably just some kind of easier streamlined walkthrough to get your FPV up and running. But the key thing for me is the Air 2S and the ability to add this little color display assist. So that's kind of a cool thing and hope that helps. So that's it for now. If you found this video helpful at all, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace guys.